A family in Williamson County is waiting on West Nile test results. Health officials are investigating a human case, and several mosquito samples in the area tested positive for the disease. This is a concern for parents who are getting ready for Halloween trick-or-treating. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis spoke to some of them in an area where officials will spray for mosquitoes tonight. We've got dogs and cats and chihuahuas. And Chris Graber really likes Halloween. As far as I've driven around, it's the most decorated in the neighborhood so far. Well, like is an understatement. My wife has Christmas, I have Halloween. Last year, he had more than 200 trick-or-treaters come to the house, and they're hoping for more this year. He never thought mosquitoes would be the scariest thing they'd have to worry about. It's always a cause for concern. I mean, it, anytime a human gets infected by something like this. It's always a concern. They're hoping Georgetown's efforts to spray the area before Halloween will be enough to get people outside. You know, I, I hope they, they take into account the, the city's made reassurances that this is safe. I think people are probably going to be even more careful than they had been in the past. Ronald Weinstein also lives in the North Georgetown neighborhood. I'm glad that the city responded as quickly as they did to it to try to prevent anybody from, you know, or at least minimizing the possibility of somebody getting uh, you know, bitten by the mosquitoes and getting infected. Don't let the fear of, of it, you know, scare you away. You know, come out, try to enjoy yourself. If, if you're really that concerned about it, take precautions. Use bug spray. Because if you're like Graber, waiting another 364 days for Halloween just isn't an option. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. This neighborhood will be sprayed for the last time tonight around 9 o'clock. To give you some perspective, uh, we wanted to know what's in the spray being used in Georgetown. The company spraying is called Vector Disease Control International. It says it contains permethrin. The National Pesticide, Pesticide Information Center says that is a common chemical but dangerous to insects and cats.